caught in the crossfire. <laughs> And then at the end of it, Shannon gives a really good uh, talk. So I had, my phone had an error that I couldn't upload. So I'm doing it this way. I'm putting it together in Final Cut Pro. And I just wanted to explain why I had to do it that way because it's stupid. It's just ridiculous. And yeah, that's Dragnaut. I'm a Dragoon. So is she. So that's the way that goes. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the ranting video from me. And then Shannon is very focused and she gives some knowledge that's very good for people that are going through bad shit, you know? So Good morning, my lovies. Happy Tuesday. This is an old video and it is called the ranting video. And uh, Shani apparently has some good advice for us, for, you know, those of us that are going through a hard time. So I can't wait to hear that. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Enjoy. It was a very productive vlog video. Wouldn't you say so, honey? Yes, you smell good. You do too. You smell like coconuts. I'm sure. I'm sure she smells like coconuts and cat piss. <laughs> she smells like coconut, folks. <laughs> it's insane. So God bless you. I love you. I just wanted to explain that. Peace out. This video is going to straight up be called ranting. Because I can't handle it anymore, folks. I am done with the world. I can no longer deal with these people that think that they are gods and little G gods on the planet. And they think that they can absolutely dictate. Oh, wow, guys. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> what is happening right now? My life and tell me if I'm drinking or not. Yep. Folks, <laughs> there is an answer to your problems. It's called getting a life, folks. Oh, my God. See, I'm out in the car. I'm driving with my wife. Look at how gorgeous she looks. She's a gothic princess, but no more than that. You're a rave girl. There you go. You're a fucking rave girl. I have a rave girl wife. I. Yeah, he's totally sober here, folks. He's not on anything at all. <laughs> totally normal. Married a rave girl, folks. Can you believe it? Now look at this comment. Mirren Rashid said this. She fucking said, I wish you nothing but happiness. I wish you nothing but happiness, folks. What? <laughs> Take a good look at those teefers. Take a good look at those bad boys, will you? What do, why, why don't either of these people engage in oral hygiene? I'm just wondering, like, how do you walk around letting your teeth look like that? I couldn't. Why can't you be more like that? Hey. Rasha Nasheed. It's a Muslim, but I don't think she's a Muslim. She's probably an... <laughs> We should give him some water. It, it's probably a, 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 an Arab believer in Jesus, folks. Can you praise him? Can you praise him? Oh my God, I want to hug this man. This man, say on many occasions, he was such a blessing to my wife because she was so depressed, folks. She, she didn't know what to do. How weird. <laughs> my wife was depressed and she didn't know what to do. <laughs> like, how fucking bizarre is this? Give a shout out. Bye. Love you. My brother. Oh my God. We have to take him for dinner. We do. We're going to take him out for dinner sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. But you never did take him out to dinner, did you, Jason? And you didn't even stop and give him anything. And this is when you guys had so much money. <laughs> oh my God. We'll give him an interview. Where the spirit of the Lord, there is freedom. Doing an interview, if he was if he was down for it, would actually be a good idea. But did you ever get off your ass and do that? Oh no, of course not, because that would take effort and work, and actual editing, and actual work. Nothing you're capable of doing, Shannon. Shut up. My God. <laughs> See, we can't do it right now, folks, because we got things to do. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're in Colorado, folks. This is. <laughs> You were so happy. Yep. You have to understand something, Shannon. I'll just, I'll just, there's agent of doubt. Ramble, quit trying to reach out and touch someone. You have to understand something, folks, okay? In the year of our Lord, 2018 AD, Jason William Egroff was almost dead because of alcohol. I don't think I ever told you this, but I had a night when I was on the couch that I drank so much that I almost literally, almost my heart stopped pumping. 
My ring finger blew up three times its normal size, and I think I had a heart attack. Okay, there's no thinking you had a heart attack. You either had a heart attack or you actually did not have a heart attack. It's very easy for the hospital to be able to tell. Um, so I'm guessing you didn't have a heart attack and just drank a lot. Your finger probably swelled up because you blew up from the alcohol. I don't think you had a heart attack, but um, that certainly wasn't the last time you drank, so I don't know why you're pretending like it is. You have to understand some folks. This woman came into my life when I was almost dead. And my family is pretty much all dead. Do you understand? They're all pretty much gone. I have an uncle that I love dearly. Uh, my uncle Tom. I have aunts that I love dearly. I have my uncle John. I have, I have very, very few people in my life anymore. Because they're all dead, folks. Okay? They're all dead. My mom is dead. My dad is dead. Everybody in my life is dead. But this woman came into my life. And she changed my life. Wait, yeah, she changed your life for sure. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say for the better though, Rev. What do you think? What do you think now? <laughs> From here on out, folks, she is shaping my person, my being. No. Yeah, and she is the most wonderful thing to ever live. Imagine relying on Shani to shape you as a person after a very, very bad addiction to alcohol. Imagine her being your savior in this situation. <laughs> You're going to get vlogs like this from me a lot because I am free. I'm sitting there yelling like a madman because I'm happy. Yeah, I'm sure you're just high on life. That's that's what's going on here. You're just really, really happy. Like when you picked the kids up from school, all messed up, you were really happy that day too. We can go back to that. But I had to come on here and rant about people that can't mind their own business, folks. <laughs> you got me. I can't do it anymore. You people say I'm drinking and I'm not. I'm sober. So this is sober behavior. We're supposed to believe that this is him sober. Completely sober. Why isn't he driving then? You know this is old because Shani hit, uh, <laughs> fit behind the steering wheel at this time. She doesn't anymore. I'm not high. I'm not drinking. I have coffee and cigarettes, folks. He's happy. <laughs> and sometimes I get Red Bull. I'm a big fan of Red Bull. Oh, Lord, please don't give this man a Red Bull ever in his life. <laughs> the last thing he needs is a Red Bull. <laughs> but he's happy. Exactly. I'm not high, folks. <laughs> okay. I'm not drinking. I'm not drugging. I'm a good little boy, folks. I call <laughs> being fucking happy. Do you know what fucking happy is? No, you don't. Why don't you do that? Oh, our messy fucking car, dude. No. Yeah, your messy car, like your messy house, like your messy life. Everything around you is filth and debris and clutter. This is what happens when you have children. Yeah. You don't clean up. Oh, bullshit. I have, we all have children. I have two children too. My car does not look like that and it never has. And if it started to, I would make sure to clean it. So it never got to that level. But you two are slobs inside your home, outside your home. It's not because of the kids. Don't blame the kids. It's you two. What me? How does that work? There you go. Oh, okay. Oh my god! Will you be a little more gentle with it? Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Don't you pay attention to that. Oh lord, look at that poopa. <laughs> the poopa is in full front and everyone can see it. Beautiful. Because I want you to drive. You listen to what I'm Yeah. Oh my god, folks. I can't put it well, in. Why don't you just hold it? There we go. I had to take the, the, the that thing off it, folks. There we go. Of course, it cuts you out. There we ah. go. All right. Because I did landscape before, folks, and it totally messed up the video. I think the YouTube camera does that, right? I, I don't know. It switches it? Maybe. I think it does. If it doesn't, fuck it. I don't care. I don't either. You're getting the audio. Because that's, that's what matters, folks, is the audio. I'm giving you my fucking feelings. 
Sorry, lovies, they keep messing with how they have the camera. And oh goody, I can't wait to hear about your feelings, Rev. I really can't wait to hear all about them. Your nonsensical word salad that you're about to grace us with. I'm telling you how he feels. This stupid horse shit of saying I'm drunk needs to stop. Then stop acting like you're drinking. You won't have that problem. Do you realize the 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 uh, the pressure, the absolute crushing pressure that it can be at times, folks, to be an alcoholic? And you're saying I'm drinking. I want you to stop it. Now you're gonna harass me on my wife's channel when we're doing a fucking live stream playing video games, folks. It's enough. Is enough. Why why is us being happy equivalent to being drunk or high? Because we're so fucking lame and shit in real life that it's impossible that I could enjoy your company or you could enjoy my company. We enjoy each other's company all the time. Hey, people enjoying another, their, their significant other's time or, or company does not equate to what we're looking at on the screen, okay? Your husband's acting like an absolute looney tune. This isn't just being happy. Yeah, and there's intimacy, folks. You have no idea. Oh my God, intimacy in a marriage? Get out. Hey, Shani, <laughs> who are you married to? Oh, that's right, no one. You're divorced. You don't have a husband. Get out. I want to know it. where I want to know where it comes from, folks. Where where does this all originate? That you have to say that people are fucking using substances when they're not. Based on your behavior, sir. That's why people think that you're fucked up because you act fucked up. What do you expect people to think? You want to fucking see the road, you stupid fucks? Go. All right, fine. Oh, there's the road. You can get a fucking view of the road instead of my face. How about that? Where are the mountains? The beautiful mountains of Colorado. There you go. Yeah, man. You can, like, show it all around, babe. That's awesome. Yeah, man. I, uh, this stand that you yeah. have in the trunk is incredible, actually. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But I've just about had it. With the absolute slime ball horse shit of calling me a drunk. I am a drunk. I always will be. But, but for you to shove it in my face every day that I'm drinking when I'm not is absolute fucking horse shit. He's sober. Leave him alone. Stop being fucking assholes. I, 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 I really love Sabella. I've grown to have a great love with Sabella Shepard. Oh my. Because she is defending me like a fucking paladin. That is true. She's right at the gates, Shannon, to be there to take the first shot. You could be a cameraman and switch it back if you want to, to, to our lovely faces. Well, why don't you do it? I'm the one driving. All right, baby. So there you go, you're back to us again. You don't want to even see us, do you? No, they don't want to see us together. They were like, oh, they're they're not gonna get to get back together. It's gonna be awful, Shannon's gonna go to jail for this dawn. Blah, 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 well, I didn't. Just by some weird fucking co some weird- Oh, we haven't watched the arrest video together yet, guys. I totally forgot about that. You're you're going to go to jail soon, Shannon. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> we'll go over that one next your chance that you're not subscribed to my wife i want you to go to shanny for christ on youtube and subscribe and hit the bell twice okay there was a guy in there by the name of wise guy and he said it's fucking hilarious how people want to break you two and they can't <laughs> oh no i never want to break anybody i don't want to do that to anyone but you two broke yourselves down yourselves with no help from anyone else so congratulations you fucked up your whole lives for what that's about the wisest comment I've ever seen, actually, because it's so fucking accurate. You people want Discord. There's a fucking place called Discord now. Are you fucking kidding me? They want us. Oh yeah, you'll know about it soon, as soon as you start going in there to eBay. Trust me. It's <laughs> in Discord so they can keep up with the drama and I'm not, I'm not taking the bait. No, I'm not either. I'm like, screw that shit. But, but there's other there's other circumstances here where the case is that substances cannot be in our lives, folks. Do you understand that? I don't think they care. No. I'm giving you the lowdown on what's actually happening, folks. Whatever, we're having a good life. They're not. They're, they're at home bitching about people they don't even know over the internet. That's what they're doing. But if you are, are parlaying the fucking accusation that we're high or drunk, there are consequences to that, folks. 
Yeah, consequences for you, sir, not for us, not for those of us that, yes, absolutely think that you two do uh, drugs and drink. I 1000% think that. I think you two would get, do anything you can get your hands on, and there will be consequences for you. For you. Don't get it twisted. Who the fuck are you threatening? Not me. <laughs> I am as serious as a fucking heart attack right now. Do you understand me? Stay out of our lives. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to keep that rolling. We're going to get a good video. Could you take that? Have some cigarette and talk to the folks. I don't want to talk to anyone. We'll just, oh, you're done. You can't. Or do you want me to? Yeah, I'd like you to. I want to keep this rolling. It's a vlog. All How right? long do you think this is going to be? Five minutes. I'm dropping it off. They have to fix it. But five minutes of talking Not, you to your have, audience? You don't have to. Whatever you want to say, you're my wife. I don't know what to say to them. They love Shani for Christ. Do you love Shani for Christ? They because do. I... Nope. I can't stand Shani for Christ, actually. Can't stomach her. Seeing the statements of, oh, you need to lose Shannon, you need to lose Shannon. What was it? Like, sister in Christ or something? You need to lose Shannon. Shannon's not good for you. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Nice. It really was really nice that you said those statements, and I couldn't even defend myself. Well, if Rev would have listened to this person, you wouldn't be in the situation you are now. He wouldn't be e-begging every day for 20 bucks, starving and living in his uncle's house because you two got kicked out of your own. There, there wouldn't be that problem. He'd probably still have some money if it wasn't for you. So I'm guessing that sister and whatever her name, that, that name she just mentioned, was 100% right. He, he should have gotten away from you, Shannon, and he would have had a lot more going for himself than he does right now with you. Because all you do is destroy every single thing that you come in contact with. Like, I love that man. Do you know how much fucking shit I had to take to help get him better? Oh yeah, we can see. You did a great job there. Um, you're about to find out why you can't get anybody off of anything, dopey. Like I was dealing with a full-blown alcoholic. Do you know how dangerous of people they are? Full-blown alcoholics, fully in the bottle, not willing to get out of the bottle. Do you know how that is? Yeah, I've seen it a hundred times because I've worked in many rehabs in my life, but... Um, you are not a substance abuse center. You cannot fix that for someone. You don't know what you're doing or what you're talking about or what tools he needs to learn to cope with whatever he has to cope with so he doesn't have to drink. You, Shani, are not a rehab center. You can't do shit for anybody in that situation. So that tells me that you didn't do shit. Not a damn thing, except sit on your ass and complain about it. And now you want to play Miss Hero. Miss, oh, I got him out of alcoholism. No, you didn't. It doesn't work like that. And if you knew anything about addiction, you'd know that. But you don't know anything about addiction. It's a joke. You didn't help him do anything. He's a mess. Just like you diagnosed him with bipolar and schizophrenia, this and this and that. You are not a doctor or a hospital. Shut the fuck up. And I stood in, stayed into that relationship, knowing that it's toxic at that point, because I knew I had to get him off the alcohol because I loved and cared about him so much. Bullshit, you lying sack. The only reason you stayed with Rev was because Rev had money. That's the only reason. You are no saint. So I had to deal with the mood swings, the ups and downs, the outbursts he had. And they were really bad moments, really scary bad moments. Oh, here we go. She's the victim again, guys. Here's the thing. If there's really scary moments going on with an alcoholic, you have to call an ambulance. You are not equipped to take care of that person. That person needs special medication, needs to be watched by a medical professional, needs a lot more than you could ever offer him. So please tell me during these horrible outbursts that you, poor Shani had to go through and Saint Shani, why at no point you called an ambulance and let him actually get the help he needed instead of you dumb you who knows nothing it's infuriating infuriating it wasn't because you loved and cared about him you loved and cared about his wallet shani you're a terrible human being you wouldn't do a kind thing for another human being if your life depended on it it's all about you that i had with him but i knew what i was dealing with i knew that i wasn't dealing with the Rev revelation news the jason I love. I was dealing with 
the spirit of alcohol, the spirit of liquor. There is this like one night where I poured a whole bottle of anointing oil on him because he got so drunk. He literally thought he was Lucifer and kept saying he's Lucifer and I'm the bride of Satan. I'm like, hell no, I'm not. And again, why didn't we call an ambulance at this point? Anointment oil? Are you kidding me? He was, he thought he was Satan and you didn't call an ambulance? God, you suck as a human being. You are dumber than dirt. You do realize, Shannon, that Jason could have died and it would have been on your head because you did nothing about it. That wasn't Rev talking, that was alcohol. Full-blown alcohol. And I knew that because I'm from a family of alcoholics. Um, you know, my mom's uh, ex-husband was a raging alcoholic and I learned a lot how to deal with alcoholics through him. Is anyone else confused by that statement? You learned how to deal with alcoholism by your mother's ex-husband? Please make that make sense because it doesn't. It doesn't make a bit of sense to any of us, does it, loveys? <laughs> you know, alcoholics, when they're drinking alcohol, they're the most horrible people and you don't wanna be around them. But in order to get them off alcohol, you have to endure it and show them what they do when they're drinking and how bad their situation can be. You know, you have to be there for them. You have to love them regardless of their alcohol. Just like any other person who has a mental disease. You know, you have to be there for them. You can't just get walk away and give up on them. How So you get them into an inpatient facility where they are taken care of responsibly. Not but you don't just love on them and be there for them. That's not how that works, silly. How how are they ever going to want to get out of their situation if you're just going to depress them further by, you know, walking away from them? It's not a good thing. Yes, it is a good thing. It's called tough love. You 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 leave them. You do not even entertain talking to them. You get them into a rehab and you disconnect from them until they are better and clearer minded. You that's what you have to do. Otherwise, you're just enabling the person to continue doing whatever substance they're doing. But you know so much, right, Shani? It's not a good thing. It's certainly not a Christian thing to do, but there's certainly so many Christians that give up on their partner, children, family members because of alcohol. And I get it. You don't want to deal with the bullshit. That, but the thing is, is they're struggling and you're giving up on someone that's struggling. You're giving up on someone that really legitly needs someone in their life to understand them, what they're going through. How would you know what he was going through? How would you know it all? Were you ever an alcoholic in your entire life? Are you a drug a drug rehabilitation center? No, so sit down. And frankly, that makes you a very cowardice person. If you give up on someone who's struggling, a coward, um, cold, apathetic, disgusting person. You know, because all you're doing is caring about yourself. You're not caring about the person that's struggling. You're caring only about yourself. Again, I will repeat myself. If you care about somebody, then you get them help. You don't do what you did. Like, why? Why would you do that and go look badly on someone who's legitly struggling? Like, I struggle. I struggle all my life. And I've, I've been given up so many times and put away and abandoned because I struggle. You know, I never was cared enough for, for someone to be in my life. And... Oh, we're back to Shani and how she didn't have anyone in her life. Well, you had two parents that loved you. You had siblings. You had three husbands. How many people did you need to care about you? I mean, come on. A lot of people have a lot less. That is a very awful experience to have when people who should be in your life aren't in your life because you're going through something. And they don't want, they don't want to be a part of whatever something you're going through. They just want to give up on you because their life is more important than yours, right? They don't look at you as an equal. They look at you as beneath them. And that's what a lot of people... I don't look at anybody like they're below me because they have an addiction. And most of you guys don't either. So I don't know what the hell she's talking about because that's such an untrue statement. I care. I know a lot of you have been touched by addiction some way or another too, so she's an idiot. People do with alcoholics and that's why they continue to drink because no one looks at them higher. They always look at them lowly and it's, it's shitty of you to look at an alcoholic lowly. When you, you need to realize that alcoholics are alcoholics because they've probably gone through way too much shit and they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to cope, you know, and they need, they need someone in their life so they can cope. 
oh, you're the last person I would want around me if I was going through something like that to cope, to cope. No, you get them help. You had no choice but to put up with Jason while he was drinking so heavily. In fact, there's videos of you guys drinking together. So do I need to pull those out, Shannon? You can't cope if you're all by yourself. You need someone there to hold your hand, to be there, you know? People can't be left to their, to their own. They need others. We're social animals, which means we need to be social because if we're not social, we're not healthy. <sighs> but I don't know if any of you guys will actually understand what I'm saying and be empathetic toward the area because you have your own problems you're dealing with. I don't know. Most people nowadays, I've, I've noticed, they just don't care. It's all about them. Selfish, horrible people. And I'm just, I'm tired of living in a world like that where people are just selfish and greedy and they just want to just use you for what you have and not who you are coming from the most selfish self-centered self-involved human being i have ever come across on the internet really other people need to be kind though they don't value who you are anymore instead they value what you have and it's shitty it's shitty of them Ugh. I hope my husband comes out soon. Like I said, I've been, I've been saying I have a migraine, so. Anyone who suffers from migraines can tell you you would not be out in a car driving around in daylight if you had a migraine. So again, liar. I'm not feeling too particularly well having this migraine in my head. It's a headache, Shannon. Take some Advil and shut the fuck up. How about that? You know what it could be? I need caffeine. I've gone two days without soda. Oh, two days. Two days without her soda, loves. Oh, God, how has she survived this long? <laughs> I think I'm going to go and get myself a soda. Because I need it. No, the question is, should I go to Taco Bell and get a Baja Blast or should I get a Dr. Pepper? That is the real need here. I'm trying to eat healthy. <laughs> trying to eat healthy. Where's the next place I could get a huge soda? <laughs> I'm trying to eat healthy, guys. Anyone know where I could get some soda? <laughs> Taco Bell, Dr. Pepper, a Baja Blast. I'm trying to eat healthy, folks. I'm trying, and I'm having a hard time. Because I'm hurting. In my head. Husband. Where's the fibro you've had since you were 19, Shani? Where's the osteoarthritis, Shani? You seem to be fine now. Remember when you were fine when you had money? And where are you? It's just taken off. Ugh. But it's like, people over the internet, they just want to hit you with like what they assume is your weakness or what they assume is bothering you. They look at your struggle, right? They take your struggle and they try to use it against you and make fun of you for it and put you down for it and say that you're doing stuff that you're not. Just fucking stupid. Like, I don't even like alcohol. I remember. I'm never touching that crap again. Because I've seen what that crap can do to a human being and how it completely changes them as a person and I don't want to see it again I certainly don't want to see it with me <sighs> I'm beginning to like what I'm becoming you're starting to like who you're becoming who what is that exactly <laughs> I'd love to know you know and I'm I'm trying to self-improve in life I'm not trying anything devious or anything like that oh no and you can tell the drinkers from the non-drinkers you can tell the potheads from the non-potheads just by looking at them like drinkers they 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 have a dirtiness to them they look dirty um okay first of all the irony is not lost on me guys uh secondly what a horrible thing to say alcoholics don't look dirty 
In fact, there's plenty of functioning alcoholics that go to work every day and do good, do their life like they normally do, and you wouldn't even be able to tell because they're functioning alcoholics. It's really gross to label people as dirty looking because they have an alcohol problem. Miss, uh, I'm a, I'm a rehab. Why don't you shut up? Why don't you worry about what you look like and how dirty you look before you talk about anybody else? What an ignorant thing to say. There's a dirtiness to them because they're so depressed that they don't shower. That's why, that's why you're saying that. And it's extremely insensitive and extremely mean. A lot of drinkers, you know. And they always have like this like jaunt look in their eyes, you know. I love when Shani uses words completely incorrectly. There's a jaunt look in their eyes. Okay. Fuck drinking. Huh. I'm better off doing what I'm doing right now in life. Which is what exactly? Come on, Jason. I miss my hubby. I don't like being apart from him at all. It gets me paranoid. <sighs> I love him so much. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. Ugh, and I feel so nauseated today. I'm not feeling good. I don't know, maybe it's the heat. It's 99 degrees outside. Oh, I'll put the air on my higher. I think I'm having heat problems. I'm really not feeling good. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, Shani's going through soda withdrawal. Jason, hurry back. This is getting really bad. She's really sick. Ugh. Ugh. Here's a video where I'm like silent because I don't really want to talk. I need to be like, Shani, why don't you want to talk? Because I don't know. I'm depressed. I've been very depressed lately, very depressed, you know, because I, I really, I look at the world and I see it, it's just degraded so fast this world and the morale. It's degrading so fast this world. That's the sentence that just came out of her fucking mouth. In this world is just faded so fast. People have no morals anymore, you know, they think it's okay to lie, cheat, steal. As long as you get that dollar. Oh my God, Shani, is it like looking in a mirror when you t when you talk like this? This is you. This is projection at its finest. Everything you just described is you. You know, do whatever you want as long as you get the dollar. Because, because for some reason, people think money is success, and money isn't success. Money is a means to be to an end, but it's certainly not success. You know, a success. Oh, we know money is not success because we both saw you with money, the two of you, and neither one of you are successful at anything. A person has love in their life, you know, they're happy. That's a successful person, not money. Money's never going to bring you success, you know? And I wish people would, like, separate money from success because it's really, it's not going to give you happiness. Money will never bring you happiness. Love will money won't, you know. I think people need to put more emphasis on finding love than trying to get money. Like, if the world ran on love, this world would work perfectly. But it doesn't run on love. It runs on money. And it's just cold and calculated and everyone's miserable and using each other because their idea of success is getting the point. You know? And getting this and getting that and getting this thing and it's It gets tiring, you know. Okay. It really does get tiring. I am tired. I'm very tired, in fact. I'm not gonna lie. When is Shani not tired? I, all I've ever heard her say is how tired she is. Must be exhausting doing nothing. I'm very tired lately. He came too early. 
and he won't come out. Because he wants me to talk or something that he's not even disappointed yet. Can you imagine what Rev is acting like inside that store? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't called the cops or security yet. <laughs> It's not like I can text him. This is a uh, Where are you, hubby? It's pathetic how codependent she is on him. It's absolutely pathetic. Five minutes is turning to 11 minutes and I have nothing to say. Peace America.